Hi everybody, welcome to the channel and to this video where we're going to be having a look at Age of Empires 4 that just dropped on Xbox yesterday. So it's currently available in the Xbox Store or you can play on Xbox Game Pass. So we knew that Age of Empires 4 for Xbox was coming sometime soon. We weren't quite sure exactly what date it was coming until yesterday when Xbox announced it was launching the same day. So that was a really nice surprise. Um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. So the idea behind the video is just to give you some initial thoughts and impressions on the game. Now, I'm sure most of you will be familiar with Age of Empires from PC or maybe from uh, Xbox if you've played Age of Empires 2, which released earlier in the year. But there might be some people out there who haven't played Age of Empires before or are maybe returning to the franchise after a long time away. So for those of you who don't know, Age of Empires is a strategy game which falls into the RTS game type. So there are single player missions available in the game, or you have the option to play against the CPU in custom matches, or alternatively you can play against friends online, custom lobbies, or there's the option to play ranked matches online as well. The basic premise is the same as other Age of Empires games in that in a given match you pick an empire then work to defeat the other players. There's different ways to victory but you'll need to grow and maintain your empire to give yourself a good chance regardless of which mode you're playing. So there are 10 empires in the game on Xbox including English Empire, Chinese, French, Roman Empire, Mongols and a few others. Whichever game type you're playing, you will typically start with a small number of villages and resources and then gradually build up your resources, economy and military over time. You'll eventually advance through to different ages, which uh, brings with it different buildings, military units and technologies that you can research. It's, uh, you know, as, as with other Age of Empires games, it's a very addictive loop of gameplay and I'm certainly enjoying the game so far. I think whilst there are complex mechanics to dive into in the game, you certainly can have a great time if you're coming to the game as a newcomer on Xbox. And, you know, I want to start by saying they've, they've done a really excellent job with the game on the Xbox platform. It is genuinely really fun to play. Um, originally, obviously launched on P PC a couple of years ago, and I was sceptical about how things would work with a controller versus a, a mouse and keyboard. And I think on the whole, it's a very intu intuitive experience. There's some very friendly uh, mechanics in place to ensure that you can get the full experience using a controller. And you do have the option to use a mouse and keyboard on the Xbox version if you wish to. So the game starts off with a tutorial, which uh, takes you through the key controls. And I think that's a, a really useful way to, to get used to some of the key mechanics. Uh, for those of you that played Age of Empires 2 on Xbox, um, there are a few differences with the controls versus that that game. So it's probably a good idea just to, to still do the tutorial just to uh, get used to the, the slight differences that exist. So like in Age of Empires 2, there's some really great tools in place to um, help the game run really smoothly while using the controller. So there's a a really intuitive resource wheel, for example, which you can bring up very easily to uh, manage your villagers' priorities when they are uh, gathering different resources. So, for example, if you want them to be focusing on just gathering wood and food, there's a preset that you can easily select to direct all of your villagers to start doing those things. You also have the option to manually adjust the presets um, if you wish to. A similar sort of mechanic is also used when uh, grouping military units together. So, uh, you know, it makes it very easy to um, keep track of, of what's going on. So the graphics in the game are really good and there's some, some good detail on the units, the environment, the buildings. And I think just generally comparing Age of Empires 4 to some of the older Age of Empires games, it's a much, uh, it's a much different experience, the 3D nature of the game. It offers a different level of immersion, really, versus some of the other titles, and uh, yeah, it's really, it's really nice to play. 
in this game, Age of Empires 4, you have the option to, to sort of rotate the camera as well as move it around. It's not fixed like in some of the other games. And it helps to, to, to give you a really nice view of the battlefield. Um, I'm sure we've all been there in Age of Empires 2, especially if you've played on Xbox where there's some chaos at a wall or a gate and it can be quite challenging to, to work out what's happening. So it's great to have the option to spin the camera here. It gives you a, a new perspective on the battlefield, basically. The game has generally so far ran very smoothly as well. I've not experienced any performance issues. Um, I have tried some online matches versus friends and also tried single player and, and both modes have been absolutely fine. So yeah, I have been really enjoying the game and uh, you know, Age of Empires 4 is not not one of the titles that I've played a huge amount of before. I think it's um, it's like the Age of Empires that you know of old, but it's just got that really sort of modern lick of paint and it gives you a real different perspective on Age of Empires. So it, it feels very familiar, but also very different at the same time. And it, it's a really great experience versus some of the other games. There's new units, new buildings, for example. So yeah, it makes for a really positive experience, even if you've played other Age of Empires games in the past. There is lots of new stuff here, so I definitely recommend giving it a go. One observation I did have versus some of the other Age of Empires games is that some of the units feel quite slow. So whilst it's great to see those units with animations and you know, they're looking much more realistic, it does feel like the troops are maybe a bit more sluggish when traversing around the map. There was a couple of times when playing with friends when an enemy was attacking and one of us was sending some troops over to try and help and it did feel like it was quite a long time. So maybe that's just me, but that was just an observation versus some of the other Age of Empires games that I've played previously. I did also find the, the HUDs quite busy initially. There's lots going on on the screen. I think that can be a little bit off-putting at first. Um... There are lots of controls to get used to, but I think as you as you play more, it becomes much easier and the game does have some useful tutorial missions to get you up and running. It's just quite a busy screen when you initially come into the game, which um, takes a little bit of getting used to. So just to summarise, I've had a really positive experience with the game so far. I know it's only been out a day on Xbox. Looking forward to playing some more going forwards. Um, you know, there's certainly scope here to get stuck into some of the more detailed mechanics, but the game is really accessible for newcomers and beginners, and you should definitely give it a try. Um, if you've got Xbox Game Pass, definitely give it a go, download it. Um, drop a comment on the video below, let me know what you think of the game so far. The channel's just starting out, so um, I'd be really grateful if you could like the video and subscribe, and hope to see you again in the future. Thanks.